Today, I want to give a lesson on how to do a simple hem with your machine. Now, I'm going to explain a few things first because I want to. Not that you probably care. All right. I'm sorry that this is disgusting. I did this probably 30 years ago and I need to recover this. But why I have this like this is because the machine comes like this. Okay. And as you see, it has, this is called the arm right here. That is just a little bit of sewing that you hold your fabric to. And I downstairs have a big sewing table that this fits into, but I don't want to sew downstairs in the room that's dark and lonely and gloomy and cold and isolated. So I want to sew in my bedroom. This is my bedroom set up, if you want to know. Here's a big light. And here's my TV. There's a door right there out to my patio. My ironing board's right there. I need to put it away. But anyway, I'll pan around. My refrigerator, microwave, my bed. My husband designed the house. This is an octagon. And I need to put up my Christmas lights in those windows. They're already up there. I just need to plug them in. Anyway, all right, so this is my setup. And I like to be in here to sew. I don't want to be my armoire or my vacuum because as soon as I'm done sewing, I'm going to vacuum underneath my sewing machine. There's my bathroom in there. I've showed you my miniatures. And there's my closet. And there's the door to come in. All right, you got to see my bedroom. You're lucky. My jewelry. My down, my Jay, Jay Osmond gave me this dressing table. He didn't give it to me. He, I bought it at a yard sale he was having. And my chair, my Cinderella chair that looks like an ice sculpture. All right, back to my sewing machine. This is where I have this table set up here. And I put the sewing machine down underneath when I'm not sewing. And then I have my desk. So I love the whole setup. So anyway, here it is. I made this. Oh, I was going to show you. It's, <laughs> I'm not a carpenter like my husband. So I made this years ago. I just got a piece of board and I made a template out of the arm of the sewing machine. And then I cut it with my jigsaw because I have a little jigsaw. And then I cut these legs and hammered them on that aren't really the right length now because this is a different sewing machine than I had the first time. Then I got this fabric. Well, first, see, it has a bat underneath it, a cotton bat. I put it down and cut it, and then I got the fabric, and I tried to find a piece of fabric that was smooth and dark. I, maybe I should have got a, a light. I know, this is old, 30 years. All right, so I, ta I stapled it around, and now I have a table to sew on. Or I can remove it easily. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm not sick. And so this is my setup. And it works very well for me because I am a seamstress. I used to make draperies. For a living, I used to sew at a cleaners and do alterations. I learned to sew as a child watching my mother, and then I took every home ec class that was offered, and I got straight A's in home ec. And I should have gone to college; I could have got a scholarship, but I didn't. Instead, I got married and started having kids, which I don't regret because my kids are my greatest accomplishment in my whole life. All right, now you've heard everything about me, and now you know what I'm doing. All right, I have to hold my camera between my legs here while I sew. All right, I'm going to teach you how to do, I'm going to teach you how to do a basic hem on the machine. And now I can't find where I put my foot. Just a minute, I'm looking. It was right here. How embarrassing. Do I have to start over now? Oh, I don't. I found it. 
All right. The machine comes with the foot like this. I don't know what it's called. A foot. And you can see it, and it has little lines there, and it's perfect. But it's not perfect for the job I'm going to do. This is the foot that is your hemming foot. You see it? All right. It's quite easy. You just put it up in here and then put the thing down right back here. See? I love Bernina's. I have this extender on mine because I have a different gathering foot. All right. And here I have a hook here because I can hang my phone right here and here. Your, the machine does not come with these. All right. You go up here to this attachment. You want your machine was different. It might have this. See this? zigzag straight zigzag straight that's the one you want it on you don't want it on the straight stitch you don't want it on plain zigzag it's zigzag straight and then you come down here and you put it on this is straight stitch this is big zigzag i just want it on a right two and a half i always put it this right here that's your buttonhole we're not going to mess with that this is look i got sharpie on here I was wrote one time, sorry. You can tell I've used my machine. All right, right here is the length of your stitch. So I don't want it real close. If you go up to zero, it's like really close. Down here to four is um, gathering. And then all the way up is your back, if you want to back up at the end, okay? Now, we're set. We're ready to go. So, I hope I can do this. My cameraman's in school today. My little granddaughter, she's great at it. I told her, once a week, I want you to come over and film, help me film. But I've ordered a new camera setup. All right, the sleeves on my blouse. Um, every time I buy a blouse, I have to get a plump size to fit my bust line. Then... They think if you are big and fat, that your arms are extra long. That's not the case. We don't have extra long arms. Anyway, I don't. So I pinned it up. I just need to go up one hem size. So then you fold it like this. All right. And you're going to sew all around here. So get it ready. Get it ready. I'm not a very good teacher. Sorry. Okay, so I have it ready. I'm going to stitch right here. So I put it down. So and S-O and S-E-W are the same sound, but not the same meaning. This is going to be S-E-W. All right. I know I'm stupid. All right. I mean, I say stupid things all the time. I'm sorry. Here we go. Is it focusing? Yes. Okay, always put your foot down. I mean, your needle right here. Go over to the wheel over here and put it down. And do a little test. Because you don't want it to grab a big old hunk. You just want it to grab a little of that edge. Okay, right over there. Okay, just a minute. I got to lift it because I can't see if it grabbed it. I don't think it did. If it didn't grab it, then you come over here and you make your stitch a little wider. So it will, the needle will go over to grab it. All right. All right, here we go. Take your pin out because you might, if the needle happens to hit the pin, it will break the sewing machine needle. I've broken probably 4,000 in my sewing career. This is really hard because the camera is in my way. I wonder if it's better with the light off. Nope. You have to line this up good and not get poked and use your fingers and don't stretch it you know this is stretchy don't stretch it because then it will pucker and look stupid and like if you did an amateur job all right i'm going to move this over a little bit 
Okay. Oh, that's better. All right. Here we go. This is so uh, amateur. I know. But, oh, I'm not even on the fabric because you know why? I can't see. Oh, sorry. See? This is so, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. And now I messed it all up and I can't see. But, you, you know, if you're a beginner, you're going to mess it up too. So I'll show you how to see. Look, I didn't even catch any of it because I can't see. <sighs> this is sad. All right, here we go. You know, I already did the other sleeve in two seconds because I wasn't having a camera on me to try to hold. All right, I'm going to come above it. Okay, I think I got it now. This is going to be perfect set up here. Get all your threads out of the way. Line this up so you can just zip it. Okay, here we go. You have to go over the seam. Okay, here we go. I have to look at my camera to make sure I'm in it to win it. There we go. Take your pin out. Line it up again. Make sure it's taking a bite of the fabric. Okay, see? This is this is how I always do it. Regular, without knocking everything over. It's quite easy, really. This is the same as if you're hemming pants, if you're hemming your dress, anything. Remember, don't stretch it. Okay, we're almost done. I'm still in camera view. And we're at the end. Now, always cut your threads. When I was in Home Ec, I did a perfect job one time. I didn't cut thread behind the button, and she marked me down to a B. And she said, and I was mad because, but she held me at greater expectations, I think, than the other kids. Because I already knew what I was doing. Okay, so here it is. See it? Hemmed. I didn't have to cut anything off because it doesn't matter. All right. You like it? That's how you do it. And then I put everything back, back to straight stitch. Take this off. Put this back on, go back up to here, because today I'm sewing an apron for my granddaughter's Christmas. I'll show it to you. The fabrics. I have three fabrics. This one, and this, and this. Pink and teal are her favorite color. And so I'll show you the front of it, kind of. Sorry, one-handed. I put the star fabric here, the straps out of this, and look at the cute pocket. And then the ruffle. I just have the ruffle left to do. So it's going to be a double ruffle with the pink and the teal. Double ruffle. I'll show a picture of it maybe when it's done. All right. Sorry this took so long. And sorry it's mumbled and sad, but that's my life and that's what i am and that's what because nobody can be perfect subscribe just because you feel sorry for me maybe 